So I just wanted to take a second and thank the sponsor for today's video, and that is the Ridge Wallet. If you guys have never heard of Ridge, you probably live under a rock. They specialize in really high quality EDC gear, and the most popular item that they sell is their famous Ridge Wallet. As you see here, I have mine in the aluminum version, and I have it in the blue, which I think is a really, really nice, beautiful color. They have a huge variety of materials to choose from and over 30 colors as well. Now, this wallet is not your dad's wallet. Most people are used to using, you know, old clunky bifolds. They carry around unneeded cards. They carry around a bunch of cash receipts, and basically you end up sitting on a brick in your back pocket, which honestly can cause some serious medical issues. And also, I am not a fan of having my pants weighed down by a brick in my back pocket so the ridge wallet is designed to be carried in your front pocket to minimize the bulk in your pockets and make you feel a little more lighter now i personally carry eight cards in my ridge wallet and uh, i do have it with the cash strap version but they do have a money clip version as well and don't take it from me look at the thousands and thousands of five star reviews on their website if you go and pick up a ridge wallet right now i guarantee you will not be disappointed and if you guys want 10 percent off plus free worldwide shipping and returns go down in the description or go to ridge.com slash zsbvids for 10 percent off of your ridge wallet today and again i just wanted to thank the ridge wallet for uh you know sponsoring this video and helping small creators like me it really does mean a lot What's going on you guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be taking a look at some products from Ghost Tech. Now Ghost Tech has been a very big supporter of the channel for a very long time so big shout out to them for sending these two products along for a review. I got some earbuds for you guys and I got one of their power banks. So just for the prices here, for the 5000 mAh power bank you're looking at about 20 bucks, 1998 and they also have a 10 milliamp hour version as well, and that goes for $24.98. So pretty affordable for you know a 5,000 and you know a 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. And then the uh, wireless, these are called the Earburst Twos. Uh, these are their wireless earbuds, and these go for $59.98. So pretty good price in comparison to Apple's uh, you know AirPods. Uh, I'll, I'll just say right off the bat, the sound quality that comes from that comes from these is not as good as the AirPods. Sorry, Ghost Tech, it's just not up to par. But it is a really, really good sound quality for the price you're paying—60 bucks. You can't really go wrong with it. So I'm not really going to do an unboxing with these because the packaging is pretty straightforward. I'll just kind of go over the outside of the boxes and tell you kind of what's on them. But I'm not going to do an unboxing because inside it's just some uh, just some clear plastic inside as you can see right here. So that's pretty much all you get inside the packaging. So first we're going to take a look at the air burst. So IPX4 sweat proof, which is pretty, that'll pretty much cover you for anything you're doing, walking, running in the gym. Uh, IPX8 is a little bit higher, but this will cover you just for all the general things. Obviously you can't go swimming with these things on, but uh, this will cover pretty much any sweat that you, uh, that you work up in the gym. HD sound quality, I can definitely back that up. I've listened to these, I've listened to all types of music. I've listened to rock, rap, um, uh, indie pop, whatever. I've listened to all genres, and these things sound great on any genre, so you're definitely getting some good soundproof there, or soundproof sound quality. And then they do have auto pairing on the front, so as soon as you turn them on and put them in your ear, they automatically connect to the last paired device. And then inside the box, you get three pairs of comfort tips. I chose the smallest ones. Uh, you get a charging case, the charging cable, and then obviously the earbuds inside there. So this is what you get right here. These are the uh, Earburst 2s. A very, very simple, kind of a, a glossy black um, look here. I, I do really like it. Here is it in size comparison to the AirPods. So a little bit thicker, a little bit shorter. So it's, you know, it's nice. It's short and stocky, but if you turn it upside, it's a little bit longer than AirPods, as you see there. So... There you go, there's it compared to AirPods. So I do want to show you how these things work when uh, you know when pairing to your device. So you're basically going to open it like this. You're going to grab one of the AirPod or one of the uh, <laughs> Earburst pods out of there. And then you're just going to select Earburst. And you're already connected, ready to listen. And then as soon as you pick up the left earbud, it's, it's just going to sync with the right one. It was that simple when opening them. All you do is open the open the package pull one earbud out, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna find your, uh, your new device down here, you connect to it, and then you're automatically connected. So, as soon as I take the next one out, it's gonna automatically sync both of them together, and then you are good to go. So just to give you guys a little look at these, uh, you know, these little ear pods here, pretty nice, got the little ghost tech symbol on the front there, 
and then it does have a mic on there so you can uh, do wireless phone calls and stuff like that and then this is the kind of shape of the ear tips here they're just basic ear tips I chose the smallest ones I do have a problem with some ear tips fitting in my ears the AirPods fit in my ears really really well and they don't fall out but uh, these actually fit in there pretty good they I, you know I put them in there and they don't really slip out at all so I definitely approve of this design these fit in my ear really good uh, but in the past some other brands have not fit in there with this design but these seem to do a good job of it then you got the little charging ports right here and then you got a little right indicator on there to just uh, like just to tell you what ear to put it in you do have a little battery indicator right here there are four little bars and it's so right now it's saying it's at half battery so that's pretty cool if you are wanting to know how much battery you have you can just see right there and then this little guy is uh, micro USB rechargeable so we're not at USB-C yet but micro USB cables are very 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 easy to find super cheap too so they do include one in the box but if you have one laying around then you are set to go so my honest review of these things uh, you know even though I was sent these I was told to do in you know an unbiased review honestly these things don't sound incredible they have you know for the price they sound really good but if you're comparing these to $200 headphones or earbuds they're not going to stand up you know they're not going to be as good as like some Beats or the Apple AirPods uh, but these things do have a very, very punchy sound. They're very deep in the bass. So if you're a bass head, you're going to love these headphones. Uh, it's not as crisp as I like it. You know, the you know the highs and the mids are just kind of watery, uh, I feel. But like I said, you might like that. These things are definitely not uncomfortable to listen to. I, I was editing some YouTube videos, listening to some music, listening to some podcasts, watching YouTube videos on these things at work every, you know, every day for about a week. And uh, it... it I didn't have a terrible time listening to them. They were, the sound quality was perfectly fine. I didn't really have any complaints, but like I said, they weren't stellar. So that's my honest sound review for these guys. Um, if you're a bass head, you're gonna love these, but for the price, really good sound quality. All right, and next we're gonna be talking about the little NRG Pack 5K, which stands for 5,000 milliamp hour, uh, milliamp hours. This is a really nice little power bank. So let's just take a look around it here. Very, very slim design, nice and small. This is it in my palm. So as you see, pretty thin, nice and small. You can probably throw this thing in a bag in your pocket and this thing will blend right in. So you press the button here and it gives you a battery indicator there as you can see. So this is at full power right now. Uh, and then on the charging port side of things, we have a regular USB-A, uh, micro USB or USB type C. Now, it says on here that, so this thing will charge, um, it's, a, it's a 15 watt fast charge. So if you are using this thing to charge your iPhone, it, it does have fast charge on it. Uh, it charges faster if you charge it with USB Type-C rather than micro USB. As you see here, it's 2.1 amps on USB, 3 amps on, uh, on USB-C. And they do include a little charging cable for you if you don't have one, so pretty cool. So as you see, I have my iPhone here and I have it, uh, I have the cord connected to the power bank, so we're going to plug it in just to show you guys that it does work, and there you go. So it is fast charging now, and it should show you your little battery indicator just to show how much battery you have in there. So we're still at full power, and this thing is a pretty good little package. Like, you could just throw this thing in your pocket, and it's really thin, lightweight, and it'll definitely charge your phone. No worries at all. So definitely a good deal on this little power bank. That'll be it guys, thank you very much for watching. Links will be in the description for both these products if you wanna go pick either one of them up or both. Big shout out to Ghost Tech for sending these along and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay humble, peace.